Okay, let me show you how the geo automation brought automation way of thinking in uh, in my life and in our in our project in general. So the topic is improve the team work through geo automation. Just to give you context of who I am and uh, how I got into this, I've been into project management for some time. Uh, largely, I spend time on defining the product together with the client. In this conference, we talked uh, on a few lectures about the level of involvement in the product and so on. Here in the company we have worked on, we work for, in Sezu Mobile, we really get into the product together with the client and help to shape the product itself. So let me let me start first. This is a, sort of an icebreaker. I would like just to go, get to know you a bit. So can can you just tell me, do you use Jira at all in your project? I know it's a very popular tool, but I would like to hear from you. For example, Nora, Dimitrie, Dragomir, do you use Jira in your in your in your daily work? Militsa, you can you can help out. Aha, uh -huh. so I hear we have in a chat. Yes, yeah, yes, so yes. Yeah, so they're writing in chat, yes. Okay, doc, cool. So what are the, the key points that I'm trying to pass over uh, is how you can stop some repetitive work, make software work for you. This is what we did for Jira. It started to work for us. Uh, how to embrace automation as a way of thinking and how, how to uh, be inspiration for applying in your product management work and, and help your end users. So for me, uh, the key message here is for product managers to embrace uh, automation as a way of thinking and, and start applying that in their products and to help their, their users. You will see soon how it really helped us and how it took off from our hands some, some repetitive work that, that we had. Please feel free to interrupt me at any point. Uh, let's let's make this to be a discussion or just my presentation. Uh, how this all started, there's probably many, many things in the world and also for you. Uh, I was one day exploring a Jira software and this Jira Thunder just hit my eye. This small icon here, probably many of you have seen it, maybe clicked it, maybe not. But I was exploring the software and trying to see how we can really stop doing some things that were boring for me. And uh, when, I, when I hit this button, then I, I discovered completely the automation world of Jira. Uh, by the way, this one big project of Jira uh, called Automation that they are developing for, for the last couple of years. And then we, when uh, we entered the world, we, we saw that there are so many options that would help us out in our, in our daily work and improve the, the, the team work itself. So what is actually Jira Automation? Uh, Jira helps you automate some routine tasks that, for example, in our project, it, at least a day, it was uh, 30 minutes up to one hour that we need to spend uh, on, on these repetitive things. And we discovered that with this automation that the Jira can do it for us. It is basically no code, uh, feature, so you don't need to be a developer in order to make this automation and to apply it to your project. It is uh, very easy to apply. You just need to track down what are the issues that you're trying to solve and then to find the best way how to, how to apply it. Uh, how it works. Uh, automation, that is a set of rules that work under certain conditions. For example, uh, when some action in Jira happens, uh, under the certain condition, then Jira will execute certain action. Simple rule. What we did is that we created the, the following rule uh, because in our team, developers, they create, they create uh, Git branches through Jira stories. So we set a rule. When branch is created, if status of that story was to do, then transition issue to in progress. So it means that the developer doesn't need to touch the status of the story, the Jira does it for themselves. So as soon as the branch is created, uh, Jira will transition that to in progress. 
how I see this, that every role, it is like a small MVP, small minimum available products. So you can see uh, which problem you're trying to tackle, what you want to change, uh, get very fast results from your team and, and see, do you need to improve uh, do you need to improve something in order to make this work for you uh, the best as you want? So this small rule was was like MVP for us in this whole project of, of Jira Automation. Uh, I was lucky to have uh, in, in my PMT, my, my colleague who, who worked to, uh, together with me on, on this whole automation setting. Uh, Sarah, thank you very much for that. And uh, together, we, we created a set of the following rules, uh, and I want to show you one. For example, they are, they are very simple rules that, uh, that, that were like, like the previous one. Here, here it is. And, but there are some more complex rules. For example, uh, is in many companies, uh, also here in our company and project, we need to estimate, uh, estimate Jira stories. Uh, so every developer needs to estimate how long it will take uh, to develop something, and then we write the estimation in the in the Jira issue. Uh, what we developed here is one rule that Jira email uh, email to us when the estimation is exceeded. For example, if someone said I will develop this in three days, but the time that is logged on the Jira issue is over three days. Jira sends a notification and say, hey, there is probably some issue on this. Someone logged in more time. And then that is uh, a notification for us to go to developer and to check, hey, maybe requirements are not clear enough. Uh, maybe some, some, there are some other issue or estimation is wrong. Uh, and here is where we apply Jira query language rules. Jira query language, that's uh, Jira language, so it is query on the Jira database. So here you can see uh, what we typed. So this was the rule. Uh, we, the rule was the following. Every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at AM, uh, look for the following issue. So uh, project, our project, if the work ratio is over 100% and status is not still the final one, then uh, send us all those issues so we can review and send to this following email address. Uh, also, what is important, if uh, this uh, seems complicated to you, uh, please, it is really easy to find online how to type those rules and so on. So this was a combination of few uh, rules that, that we found online. We put them together and we, we here you can validate your rule. Is this uh, the working one or is there is some issue with your rule? And this is one rule that I think that it will help uh, a lot of you that are uh, working in the product and project management world, uh, just to be notified when something will not go as expected, when a roadmap maybe won't be, uh, when roadmap goals maybe won't be met because some of the following things. Uh, and this was really beneficial for, for, for us, especially for, for us working in the, uh, roadmap defining and uh, projects and product management. Uh, important to note is that in this project, Jira developed some popular templates that you can you can use, and it is very simple to apply to your project. Uh, here is one: when all stories are completed, then close the epic. Uh, you can just click on that, apply to your project, and it will work for you. Also, you can adjust this template. Uh, maybe you want to add. Uh, that uh, when this action happens, that you also get the email or that you get notification on Skype and so on. Uh, important to note is also that you can apply the rules uh, globally on the whole projects in your company, but also you can apply the rules just for the specific project. Uh, we particularly apply the rules for our projects uh, because of some specifications. So the rules that I will show you now uh, are just now applied to, to our project. What kind of impact it had on our team and the management itself? It automates some daily tasks. Uh, we made the Jira to keep us updated about some important things and to send us some reports. And also, very important was that we get uh, on time deployment information. So we didn't need to any uh, any more 
interfere into this deployment info, uh, is it deployed or not, and when, Jira would notify us and the clients uh, when, when deployment is done and when we are on production. Uh, let me show you one thing that uh, I think really worked for us. Uh, and those are the Jira statuses. Maybe you know, uh, maybe you have also this experience, but we experience that very often uh, the team members, they forget to change the status of the tasks or they just don't know which one is the correct and so on. The idea here was to make the automation so the developers didn't need to touch statuses at all. Their only responsibility, it's not only, of course, it's a big responsibility, is to develop the code. So here is, we developed the set of rules. Just to give you a bigger picture, the project that we're working on is already on, in the production. Uh, it's exposed to the end users. And in order to achieve what, what we want in the project, we have four environments. So we have a development environment, testing, staging, and production. And all these statuses uh, are developed in order to follow the travel of the code from the beginning to the, till the end. I know that in every company, there are different statuses depending on the project and so on, but this is what it works for us. So all these, uh, all these process we have automated apart from uh, some parts uh, in, in this travel code travel journey. Uh, these are the hands, let's, let's say manual check. Uh, this is for our QA team. They need to check that and to say, okay, this is fine. And when they check that it's fine, then again, through the deployment process, it will be automatically, uh, statuses will be automatically, automatically changed. What is important to note here is this, that this process and the following rules that I will show you, they only work if you have automatic deployment procedure and uh, if the branch is created through some uh, Jira issue. So if you create some Jira issue without a branch, then automation for the change of the statuses won't work. I see there are some questions. Uh, Milici, please feel free to interrupt me if, uh, if I need yeah, to yes, we're getting questions and answers at the same time. So the question uh, is: Okay, so is, these are is, these are the rules. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The question is: uh, Is this the uh, plugin uh, coming by default? And then we got the answer that it is, but it uh, needs just to be set up. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is by default, so you don't need to pay some extra. We also use some plugins here on the project, uh, which you need to pay extra. But this is by default. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I mean it's free. Yes, of course. Okay, let me just come back. Oh, just a second. Uh, yeah, so here, here are the rules that are made uh, to apply this change of statuses. So when branch is created, then move issue to in progress. So there's the first rule. When pull request is created, set status to ready for deploy. Again, developer doesn't need to uh, touch the status. When, uh, when pull request is approved uh, to the development environment, change status to ready for testing. And then we have when pull request from development to staging is merged, change to release, and when PR from staging to production is merged, change status to approved. So these rules, these five rules works for us, and this took off from developers' need for them to change the statuses. Very often we heard, hey, I'm not really sure which status it is now, uh, or I forgot to change the status, and then uh, our QA team was waiting. Uh, for something to be ready for testing in order to start testing. So we really uh, avoid uh, all this misinformation by introducing those those five rules for Jira Automate. Uh, here are some other rules that we developed. Then when, uh, when this whole ball started rolling about automation, we started seeing, uh, let's, let's do some followings to make something uh, easier for us. And uh, let's, let's detect which repetitive tasks we have and see how we can solve them. For example, uh, this rule email approved Jira issues to PM team. So when the deployment of production is done, Jira would automatically inform us and the client 
so we don't need to inform the clients, hey guys, deployment has been done, we're in the production now with the following features. Uh, Jira does that for us. So one less thing uh, for PM team to do. And then uh, I'll just uh, note a couple more. Uh, we also emailed uh, twice a week our QA team about ready for testing Jira issues. And then they meet, they discuss about the issues, they make a plan, the testing plan, and then they, they go through that. Uh, we agreed with them to be twice a week, not more frequent because that's enough for them. Uh, but of course, that's uh, adjustable. We also have weekly news to our team members. Uh, that's something that uh, we prepare uh, every week. What, uh, what are the, the news from this week and what are the plans for the following one and some important information. So uh, Jira, uh, every Friday at the end of the day sends, or Monday, how we set it, sends those news to, to team members. So we just need to prepare uh, the text and then the, the Jira will automatically send info to, to all team members. Uh, I time log is higher than original estimation. And uh, those are, uh, there, there are much more rules. Here are the sum that we want to, that I want to show you. And as I said before, you can set it per project or uh, global rules. Uh, here you have the library, and this is where you can see what are the templates, and you can easily, easily apply that to, to your project. Audit log, uh, it's also a cool thing uh, that you can see uh, is, uh, is some rule executed or not, and when. Uh, this is like a history uh, what that uh, rule did uh, previously. So if, if something uh, didn't went well, if Jira Automation made some errors for us and mistakes, then we can see uh, what happened here, why, and do we need to change some condition, some uh, Jira query language rule and so on. And this, this, this is also helpful uh, for you to know. Then uh, same as in every product and is in every MVP, there, there were things that didn't work for us well. Uh, what didn't work for us uh, was the overload of notifications. Uh, we had, uh, for example, when we developed this rule, uh, email PM Jira issues where, where estimation is exceeded. Uh, we set the rule to inform us immediately. Then we had a few notifications on a daily basis and, and we discovered, okay, uh, that's overload. Uh, let's do once, once a day in the morning so we can review that and we can talk with the team and we, we adjusted the role. Uh, the second was uh, that on the project, we have a couple of applications and not all are fully, uh, not all have fully automated deployments. So it means that the rules for the change of statuses work just for the parts of the, the Jira issues. Uh, the part the, the application that have fully automated deployments, uh, that, that's also uh, something that we, that we realized, okay, uh, if we want that to, to work for everything, we need to automate deployments, which is anyway the goal for in the project. And as I said, the tasks without a branch uh, don't change the status. That's also something that didn't, didn't work for us. Uh, and then we need to have, uh, then we need to come up with uh, different rules that will also help help us to to overcome this. Yeah, you can really ask me uh, also later on, or just uh, send me LinkedIn. Uh, if you want to know about specific uh, specific rule, and I can help you out to, to set up uh, what, what you're looking for for your project. Uh, what is uh, very nice that uh, Jira, they created an uh, online project uh, where you can see uh, proposals from the people who are saying, hey, I want to automate this on my project. Uh, could you make it possible? So you can create uh, create your request and say, I would like to automate something on my project, which I see that currently Jira Automation is not supporting, and uh, they will uh, review your proposal. And if, that's, uh, if that is something that is valuable, they think it is for the wider audience. Uh, a UT public tracker, and you will come to this page and you will see what they are asking for and in which, in which status it is. Also, they have a very good automation community. A few times we wanted to create some rule, but we, we couldn't, we didn't know how. 
uh, then uh, I, I posted the message on automation community and got a couple of answers immediately. So it is a really big thing worldwide uh, re regarding automation. Important to, to say about this automation, how, how big it is, uh, especially in USA, is they, they have uh, experts for automation, uh, which, public, which companies hire in order to automate uh, processes in their company. So I, I uh, read a couple of blogs that uh, about people offering their services to come to your company and to detect uh, what is the time consuming for, for your management and then to automate uh, those processes. What, uh, why I think that this is important and why I want to um, share this with you is uh, because I realized that every role is like small MVP as, as I said at the beginning and that you can, you can apply this uh, to, your, to your project and that this is a very important idea for, uh, uh, for product managers and their products to see how you can make uh, your application easier for your users. How can, you can automate things and make uh, and make the application work even more for your users. Just to embra embrace that mindset and to constantly think, okay, uh, this is fine, uh, but maybe our users they don't need to do the following thing. So just to make to make it uh, your product is much user friendly and uh, that users get all what they want in in few few actions. Uh, this, this is how I started with this idea, and I posted on product management uh, on uh, serving product community. I posted the questions: Hey guys, uh, I'm into Jira automation. I would like to hear from you. Uh, do you know something about this topic? Uh, what kind of rules you created and so on? And then Anna invited me to to give a talk about this and to to, to share with you what are my findings and what is working for us on the project and what is uh, what, what what not. Uh, automation effects. Uh, this really brought improvement to our team. And I personally embraced uh, automation as a way of thinking overall and started uh, detecting the problems in, on our project and say, hey, and, and to think, uh, hey, let's automate this. Uh, let's make some, some scripts, some more application that will work for us, that we don't need to do some manual work and to really make uh, to, to make a difference for our client and for our users. Uh, also, this brought a change in the project team members um, as well. They, they also started asking, okay, hey, maybe we can automate this in Jira, or uh, maybe this is a good idea to make automation for, for this uh, on, on the project. Uh, in, in general, I, I think uh, that this is uh, more and more applied in modern apps right now. And uh, auto automation is really the, the, the leading feature in, in many new uh, applications. And th this is something that uh, will really uh, move your product and, and your, your clients forward. Uh, this is all about uh, automation. Please uh, feel free to ask any question about this. Uh, this is one, one really field that is uh, evolving from day to day. And I see in that community that there are much more rules. There are many rules that are being developed day by day, and the people are using it for many, many things. Uh, I've I seen many rules, but again, uh, everything depends on your project and on, on your needs and how you want to overcome some of your repetitive, repetitive tasks. Thank you very much. Uh, as you can see here, I will also share uh, the presentation on, on the share on the Roadmaps Conference community. You can write to me to LinkedIn or to my email address, and uh, please uh, embrace uh, automation uh, in your in your project and your product, and you will see really a great benefits for the users and the team itself. That is all for me. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, Milan. Um, is there any questions, anything you would like to ask about this topic? Or Milan about any other topic? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, cool. If you, if you don't have any questions right now, uh, maybe we'll try to play around a little bit uh, with that. Hit the thunder in the Jira project and you will see what it will work for you. And, uh, uh, okay, we got a question. Yeah. Uh, did this automation... Hmm? Please. Uh, okay, did this automation resulted in some process changes with the team? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, we we told them that uh, the statuses there didn't need to change the statuses. That, they, that their code and their coding actions will tell us everything in uh, what is the status of the Jira issue. And also, it, as I said, we changed the, the the way of thinking and started to see uh, what we can automate in the project and uh, how to make it uh, our product be even better and uh, provide some more results to us. For example, uh, our clients needed to change, I uh, need to check the production websites because we, we work in the, we are in the betting industry, our project, and there are a lot of traffic uh, and a lot of users. And it's very um, the time sensitive data. Uh, so our uh, our client had a team member the, who's checking on a daily basis how everything works. Do we have all information there? Is it updated and so on? Uh, and then we start thinking, okay, uh, let's provide some additional benefit for them and let's uh, develop some uh, automation tests and aut automation uh, applications that, that will do that work for them. And if something happens, they will be informed on, e on email that there is some issue. Okay, uh, the other question is, did you notice some gaps in introducing the automation ways, way of doing things? Devs not creating, linking the branch, tickets not being estimated and so on. Uh, yes, uh, as I said, we had a couple of issues that we need to overcome by reminding people saying, hey, okay, we agree at the beginning that you will create a branch for the, each story task or bug. So they, they are now used to not do everything through one branch, but they now they now know that they need to do they need to create a separate branch in order for this uh, system to work. So now now this really helped uh, in a way that a uh, if if they don't follow the rules that we agreed, then the Jira uh, Jira statuses are, are wrong, and then we come to them and say, hey. Uh, is there something uh, something wrong? We see that Jira didn't change the status, and you said that, that you send a pull request. Then then they see, ah, okay, yeah, I forgot to create a branch, or I forgot to do something, and then they just uh, accepted that is their habit, and now we don't have issues anymore. Mm, I have one more question. Like <laughs> this is for me, so it's nobody from the audience. Um, so, uh, do you know? Is there are these automations also available on uh, Jira uh, server? So we saw Jira uh, software, but maybe on the on another Jira product. Do you know if we also have this automation? Uh, yes, I, I checked it, and it's uh, on both uh, cloud and on a server. So mm, of course, just depending on the version that you have. But this is since few years ago, so I believe that you have at least. The, the one version before the, the, the latest one. And yeah, just look for that small thunder or in the project settings in every project, you have a project settings and there you can find uh, automation section. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I see question, do you have any kind of the rule book for new members as a part of onboarding. So they will be informed about this from the start. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we, we don't, but uh, good tip. Uh, we can, uh, we will we'll definitely inform when someone is coming. Uh, luckily we have the, we have, we have the team of uh, uh, 15 members and uh, we, we didn't have any new members so far. And we introduced, uh, we applied the Jira rules since uh, six months ago, uh, but thanks. This would be when we have someone new. Uh, 